So I just got a cheeky little Netta Porter package. I also got a package from Harrods, which I didn't show you guys. And I was unboxing it. I was like, why not show you? And then we can do the try on. So I love Sporty and Rich. I think their pieces are so cute. I haven't ever bought from, I don't think I've ever bought from their actual ready to wear. I mean, I love their caps. So I have a cap that says the exact same thing. And I just got another cap from them. So I thought, why not get the matching sweatshirt? Um, I don't think this is an exact match. Wait, let me check. Yeah, no, it's not the exact same. Although I did think it was, but I'm here for a tonal green moment. So that's cute. I'll be honest, I don't actually remember what I got. Oh, okay. Ooh, so these I live for. These are the Dr. Dennis Gross peeling pads. I think they're called peeling pads or like cleansing pads. I love using one or two a day for a month and then I stop, I take a month break and then I do them again for a month. They're really good if you have sensitive skin. Then I got a pair of sunglasses. This is apparently the new vibe I'm on. <laughs> Don't ask. I felt like these would look cute with the sweatshirt, pair of leggings and like Air Force Ones, okay? For a casual vibe. This is kind of cute. Maybe even with like biker shorts, a sweatshirt, oversized t-shirt, whatever, and like Crocs. Crocs are making a huge fashion statement right now. I know a lot of people don't like them, but personally, I think they're fantastic. I used to think they were the most hideous thing on this planet. In fact, I still do. I just think they're a bit of a vibe. And if you know, you know, and if you don't know, then don't worry. I also then got these from Harrods. Shout out to Juan. He sent me collection pieces that they get from Renee. Because I love them. I finally got these in lavender. These are a beautiful lilac color. They're not coming really across on camera, but they are stunning. I was umming and eyeing between the lilac, a yellow, a really beautiful blue, and a red. I think the red would look phenomenal because I always have like red toes. I always think of like what a shoe would look like based off my nails. And I mean, they're always red, so I don't really, I don't really wear much, I don't really wear many green shoes. Kind of reminds me of Christmas, but oh my God. Okay, the sweatshirt looks amazing. It is very oversized, even though it's a small, but I love that. I love that it's also not super thick, but it is like fleecy on the inside. No, it's not. I mean, it kind of is, but it's got that kind of feel where, you know, if you just like put it in the, like you have a really nice fleece sweatshirt and then you put it in the wrong kind of wash and then it becomes bobbly, but still kind of fleecy. Yeah, that's what it's giving. I mean, it's better than the Pangaea ones that I bought in lockdown. Those were just horrific. The color was like, the color, forget the colors. The colors were just awful, but the, the texture of the fabric was just disgusting. And I know it's like sustainable, but like it was just, it was not the one. It put me off the brand forever. Although I am willing to give it another go, um, potentially maybe get the kids pieces because I feel like those will fit me better. Hello. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So as I said, I'm not gonna be shopping excessively and I'm not gonna constantly buy the same things that I've already got. I'm gonna try new things. However, the Renee's are one style, which I personally really love and I love to wear. I love that they've also improved the actual shoe, like the design. Yeah, they've definitely improved them. The, the blue ones that I have are completely different to the gold and the black ones that I have and they're a lot better now. I love that they've got the crystal around the toe and the padding around the ankles are a lot nicer. They're also a lot looser to wear if you've got a wider foot. I realized I don't actually have any nice like purple sandals. The only shoes that I have that are purple, let me show you guys. So this is my current purple situation. We've got my new lilac Renee's. We've got these unicorn ones again from Juan, the best. Um, I haven't worn these I don't think yet or have I? No, I have apparently. These I wore with like an Attico skirt. They were again Aminas. And then we have these other Aminas, which I mean, I've worn a little bit, but not too much. Purple isn't my go-to color. I like to have options if I'm gonna be wearing color that complements purple, like pinks or like a green or even like um, an orange. But as you guys can see, they're all pretty much the same style and I needed like a sandal. So we've got a sandal. Um, yeah, so I'm steering away from like the same styles. Like I need more diversity in color. However, saying that, I've become more of a homebody. So is there really any need for me to be going out shopping and buying things that I'm not gonna be wearing 
no not really i was gonna do a massive shop um in fact i do have a bunch of stuff coming i really want to be spending my money on traveling because i realized i've not traveled enough i really haven't traveled enough being in a relationship with someone that can't afford to travel or doesn't really like traveling the way that you like to travel is just not the one if i can give you guys a little tiny piece of advice in your 20s and like early 20s like early 20s like late 20s if you're not yet married settle down whatever travel forget about men in a few days but i forgot to film the actual unboxing of this video i just kind of filmed the try on because i was very excited about this particular item and it is a little something from bottega this is a pair of shoes i haven't actually seen on a lot of people but it's a pair of shoes i tried on in store and was like obsessed with they didn't have my size and the color i wanted so that i went online i looked for them only to find them like a thousand five hundred dirhams cheaper than the store price I'm done. I'm done with Dubai shopping. Like, it's not happening. Anyone that says come to Dubai and shop here, are you actually okay? First of all, the collections we get suck. Like, they actually suck. Unless you're, like, a private client at boutiques, then you get access to the full collection and you can pre-order and buy what you want. But then, the prices suck even more. They did very kindly offer to get the piece for me to the store but then like when i went online i was like why would i pay a thousand five hundred germs more when i could buy a balenciaga t-shirt instead so let me first show you the shoes because they're magical so these are the shoes and honestly i hated them at first they did come out in the beautiful green but i don't have a pair of like white sandals i mean i have the amina muadis but then these are something else i love a chunky gold chain and they honestly go with so much this is why i got these i'm going to show you in an entire like lookbook styling video how i style these because honestly they go with so many different looks and i'm so happy i found these because i am obsessed definitely want to get these in more colors but i'm also trying to not be that person where it's like i need them in every single color when i can get a variation of different styles in different shoes might potentially need to get these in every color because they are fantastic they are not the most comfortable heel i'm not gonna lie they're not super comfortable even though the heel height is pretty low i did wear these to dinner and i was like mm, they're not as comfortable as they look i also thought these balls this like orthopedic sole would be all over the shoe, but it's just the trimming. I feel like that would have made a difference if it was all over, but it's not. Also, um, don't wear these if your feet are dirty because they will stain. I got these in a size 36, which is like my true size and sandals. I also did state in this video that I wasn't going to be buying Pangaea and I wouldn't buy Pangaea, but then the next day, don't believe anything I say. I talk out of my ass a majority of the time. I got some Pangaea. And this is actually a very cute set. I got the full set. I look like a giant marshmallow when I wear it. This is size, I think it's extra small. Well, they do have a double XS, but I got the XS because that's all they had at Harvey Nichols here. And honestly, it's a very cute fit. I actually, I need to show you guys the inside of this. The inside is like a terry cloth. It's not disgusting like the first set that I bought. I think I threw that in the bin or burnt it. I want to say I put it in my flower beds and I recycled it, but I did not. I did not. The pink set, very cute. I don't know what the particular style of these are called, but I definitely love this set. And if it was shorter, I would buy more. I did say I was going to get the kids set, but this is the adult set. I mean, it fits okay. It's kind of the vibe I'm going for anyways, the oversized look. I'm not mad about it, but I do really love this particular set. Like, they've definitely taken on the feedback i'm not saying they watch my videos where i slandered them but you know well done pangaya you fixed it now these are wearable and they don't look like i'm wearing someone's dirty old lost and found gym clothes the topic of oversized clothing again i did mention i bought this this is I can't get in the full frame. This is a Balenciaga t-shirt. I believe it's unisex. It's a men's one. I picked it up in size small. I probably could have gone for an extra small, but I do like that it's oversized. I'll show you what I'm wearing today. I do like that it's oversized. I love an oversized fit for a t-shirt, and I just love the quality of Balenciaga t-shirts. It's like a thick jersey, but it's not too thick, and it's not too thin. And this is kind of like distressed. I love a navy blue, and it's against this orange, I think, with like a chunky gold chain and some gold accessories, maybe some Air Force Ones and jeans. Alternatively, I was going to wear these with little denim cutoffs. 
I could wear this with like leggings, I could wear this with Crocs, I could wear this with anything, I could wear this with the Balenciaga oversized t-shirts are just my favourite thing to live in and they are great for when you're having like a period day or just a day where you just don't feel like dressing up but also looking cute. For anyone wondering, yes this is my natural hair, I've just added my clip in extensions to my frizz but I couldn't let the hair be alone like I was feeling like Hagrid. I mean I'm still feeling like Hagrid but like it's okay, it's my, it's my casual day. Also, um, I love Sporty and Rich, I think that's what it's called, yeah Sporty and Rich. I got this cap, um, it's not fitting over the hair right now but these caps are cute, they're great to wear like post facial or days where you don't feel like putting anything on and with the sunglasses these sunglasses are just my vibe right now you know casual it's giving that girl like you know that girl that girl that girl vibes i don't think i'm that girl but some days i want to try and be that girl look like that girl basically Ooh, i do have more unboxings coming soon i did say i was going to cut down on shopping but i've restricted myself to shopping once a month this is like the haul for June. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's like a mini, it's like a mini June haul. Now we need to do the July haul. I set my budget and I've set myself a limit of only once a month will I spend online. Like there's one day where I can go ham on as many different websites as I want within reason, within budget. But after that, I'm not allowed. The only thing I can do is add to cart unless it is 1000 million percent necessary. And I know I'm never going to get this item again, then, you know, there's an exception. But the exception can only occur once every three months. She's growing up. She's learning. I'll be honest, I had a dream last night where it was really, in fact, it wasn't a dream. It was a nightmare. A lot of bad shit happened in that nightmare and I woke up and I was like, wow. Um, but that's a topic for another day. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. This was going to be like kind of a vlog, but it's also not. But it kind of is because I'm rambling. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you stick around for some more. I'll definitely be doing some more videos. <laughs> not like I've got anything else to do. I'm going to be doing some styling videos, actually, to pull out stuff that I haven't worn in years and style them. I'll see you guys in my next video.